Alright guys, welcome back to the Hearts Football Manager 2022 series. We're looking to continue our impressive form today in the Premier Sports Cup. We're make, looking to make it four wins before we are going to count that penalty kick out shootout as a, a win because why the fuck not guys we got two points for it we didn't lose but uh, more importantly we're looking to make the signings we need to make the signings we need a striker and we need a goalkeeper i think harry stone looks really good don't think he could be the next craig gordon so if we don't get a goalkeeper we certainly need a striker but even if we don't get a goalkeeper that is better than harry stone i think we need a new goalkeeper that is at least going to be a number two because the gap between Harry Stone and the next guy, Paris, is absolutely mad. And if Harry Stone got injured, we'd be fucked. So, uh, yeah, no, we definitely need to find a goalkeeper. And we need a striker. We do. At the moment, we're running around with Presley and boys. And, well, Presley looks like he's in top form. Presley looks like he's doing really well. I think we need more than just Aaron Presley. So, ideally, I wanted to find a kind of target man similar to what we had last year with Lorente. But... It's been difficult, guys. Even though we've got the money, we've got eight million to spend, but just people aren't really having it. Not a lot's happening in the transfer window, so we will we'll keep our eyes open. If we can find anybody, then we will be the first ones to snatch them up. But at the moment, it's been pretty difficult. All we can do now is settle our sights on Queens Park, try and beat them, and then we will move on to whoever's next and hopefully beat them as well, and then try and sign the players that we need to sign. But we definitely need a striker. I mean, I'm, I'm at the stage now where if I, I would I would spend the entire transfer budget on a striker, I would. If there was somebody good that was willing to come to us, the, the $7 million, I, I would I would straight up spend it. But uh, we've just been kind of lacking that at the moment. Anyway, let's get into the game. Let's pick the team here. Um, we do need to look, I guess we need to look harder, but trust me guys, I have been, I have been searching everywhere, but we just cannot seem to find anybody suitable, but, uh, we are going to obviously stick a game with Harry Stone and Nets, I, I, I would like to give Sack Paris a, a bit of game time, but he, he's just not good enough, it's as simple as that really, um, Aaron Presley will be coming back in over boys, boys did not impress me last time out, uh, Barry Mackay, I think we'll keep in the team, uh, Pollock and Janelli have been looking good. I think we will keep them in. Uh, Cameron Devlin, I think, we'll bring in. We'll give a chance over Rui Perez. Um, Kingsley and Smith, I think, will stay as the wingbacks. And Hulk and Ostergaard. Yeah, we're going to go for a more full-strength team this time rather than uh, change things up. So I think we'll put Dominic Ball on the bench. And that might do us in. Liam Balligan. Do we put Liam Balligan on the bench? You know what, I think Halkett, we're going to, no wait, we'll, we'll rest Halkett. We, we'll rest Halkett and we'll, we'll give the new pair in a chance. Jan Fan, Paul Heck and Ostergaard, those two can link up on the the centre-backs. And that'll do it then, that's the team. This is it, because I, mean, I, I mean it's Premier Sports Cup, I expect to win these games pretty much regardless of who we play. Um, what about, what about Pollock, we've been playing Pollock quite a lot, do we give somebody else a chance? We could. Uh, we'll give... No, you know what? I, I like, actually, Finley Pollock's been playing well. We're going to keep Finley Pollock in there. Uh, let's go, then. Let's do it. That's the team select. Michael Smith is lacking match sharpness. All right, we'll take out Smith, and we'll give... We'll give um, Cammy Logan a chance. We'll bring Cammy Logan back in. There you go. Change things up a little bit. But, uh, you know, only four changes. Still, don't want to change the entire squad. But we, this team should still be good enough making four changes against Queen's Park. I can't imagine Queen's Park have that much to offer. Uh, who have they got, though? Uh, they've got some decent players in there. Ali Coot, uh, we all know. Simon Murray, former Hibs man. I mean, there's a couple of players in there that could maybe cause us problems, but... I, I can't see it being any problems tonight, man. I think we'll we'll take care of Queen's Park. I think we'll dispatch them. And I think we'll make it three wins for free in the Premier Sports Cup. That's what we're hoping for, at least, anyway. Whether that happens or not remains to be seen. Well, here we go. Snedden. Early goal kick. Launches it up. Ostergaard is there. Ostergaard just launches it right into well. I mean, what was the point of that? 
right into the hands of Snedden. Snedden again launches it up. Kingsley's there, heads it down. Devlin steps in, wins it. Devlin wins it back again. Cammy Devlin. He does not want to lose his position here. He might think Rui Perez has overtaken him in the pecking order. And that might be true, but here's Barry Mackay. Oh, hits it right at the goalie. I think Barry Mackay should definitely do better there. Speaking of pecking order, I feel like it's hard to pick the, the front three. You know, the wingers, I think we do have options, especially with Nathan Holland coming back from loan. Obviously, we did lose with Ben Woodburn, but, yeah, we have gained Nathan Holland. We signed the young German, uh, Andrew uh, Wagby. So, I mean, the competition for those places is heating up. Ten minutes in, we've got three shots, five shots make that now. Barry McKay playing on a 7.0 rating. I think we're going to... What are we going to do? Let me see here. First of all... We're going to go attacking. Cause I just think... I think we've got way too much for Queen's Park, so we may as well... We may as well go all out here. It's Kingsley. Devlin, Presley, back to Devlin. Oh, it's Ginelli, brilliant start. Oh, my God, Ginelli. I mean, the play was phenomenal. We were passing it around Queen's Park like they were blind. And then Ginelli took a shot like he was blind, like he had no eyes. Well, he certainly didn't have eyes for the back of net. Has to do better. He's back in, Ginelli. And he's put it wide again. What the fuck? First time his shot was saved. This time he's put it wide. I mean, two great chances there for Ginelli in the space of, like... 30 seconds to give us the lead, and he couldn't do it on either occasion. That, that's that's mad. Can't believe that. I think Janelli must be must be looking to do a better ball over the top to Presley. Aaron Presley and his shot saved. So, I mean, so far, Queen's Park hanging on here. We are getting forward. We are creating all the chances, but we haven't took any yet. Barry McKay whips a ball in. It's headed away. It's Benjamin, Benjamin Van Heck. And that's the end of that. But nine shots so far in the opening 20-odd minutes here. We are dominating. We are in control. But we're yet to find that breakthrough goal. Cammy Logan. Van Enjimi. Back to Cammy Logan. Logan to Paul. Van Heck. And whoa. It cannons off the crossbar. Holy shit. What a strike for the new signing. Wow. Looks like we have a centre-back that can hit them. That was an absolutely thunderous shot after crossbar. It's a shame it didn't go on. It would be nice to see him get his first goal. Especially a goal as good as that. I don't know, but that was a chance for Queen's Park. Heart in my mouth moment there. It was a chance out of nothing, and I thought it almost sneaked in. Thankfully, it did go out for a goal kick, though. And uh, we hang on here. Half an hour gone. Yeats is taking the throw in. Yeats to Erwin. Now into the midfield, it's Welsh. Back to Grant. Grant all the way back to the goalkeeper, Snedden. Punts it up, but Kingsley wins a header to Barry Mackay. Mackay to Pollock. Back to Pollock, Pollock to Kingsley, good bit of play here. Stephen Kingsley keeps it in just about, Barry McKay to Devlin, Devlin back post, Ginelli's there, Ginelli heads it though and it's straight into the hands of Snedden, too easy for the goalkeeper. All our chances are falling for Ginelli at the moment and he's wasting every single one of them. Not good, Kingsley, Pollock, back to Kingsley. What a ball, it's Ginelli again, and finally Josh Ginelli can beat the goalkeeper, he can stick it in the back of the net, and he gives Hearts the lead, a well-deserved lead at that. It's Hearts 1, Queen's Park nil, and it's, yeah, it's nothing more than we deserve. We've been really, really good here. It's just a shame we haven't been able to finish our chances, but finally, Ginelli did finish his chance, and it gives us the lead just before half time. So, yeah, also puts us top of the table as well, top of this group. Oh, it's a save by Stone. It's a good save. Queen's Park not giving up, trying to get back in this. And it's a good save there for Harry Stone, proving that maybe he is good enough to lead the uh, the goalkeeping position this season. Proving that maybe he is the next replacement for Craig Gordon. Here we go then. It's Stephen Kingsley, free kick. We all know what he can do with free kicks. Oh, he hits the top of the crossbar. Very close. But again, just not close enough for us. Couple of minutes to go then. Before half time. It's half-time then, uh, 17 shots to four, we are in control, 
more of the same in the second half and we should comfortably see it this for an easy win. All right, here we go then, second half. Let's get back underway. Let's see if we can continue where we left off and just get a couple more goals. As you've seen in the Sub Falkirk game, we dominated, we dominated Falkirk, but we only had a 1-0 lead towards the end. And uh, Falkirk punished us in the last couple of minutes and they managed to get a penalty shootout. So uh, we need to avoid that here. We need to make sure that we put Queen's Park to bed. We'll put any milk and cookies in. Stephen Kingsley will certainly do that. What a strike that is. Lovely strike from Stephen Kingsley. Keeper had no chance. He smashes it on his left foot. Right into the top bins. That is a phenomenal goal for Kingsley. No doubt about it. Playing the um, captain role today without Halkett in the squad. So, yeah, no, happy with that. Delighted with that, in fact. And it's a great goal from Stephen Kingsley. And it's a goal that now should see us finish this game rather comfortably, I think. There's no way back for Queen's Park. I think as soon as we went 2-0 up, it was always going to be over. And it looks like there's going to be a penalty here. It looks like Stephen Kingsley was pushed. The referee seen it. I didn't really. But regardless, it's going to be a penalty. It's going to be Barry Mackay stepping up to take it. And Barry Mackay sends the keeper the wrong way. Barry Mackay makes it free. And uh, this game, yeah, this game's officially over. Good stuff. I think we'll go ahead and make some changes now. Because, yeah, this, this game is done. Uh, we will bring on Fagby, I think. For Barry Mackay, who just scored. Uh, we'll maybe... Bring on Nathan Holland as well for Ginelli, who's also got a goal to his name. And uh, who else will we bring on? Perez, Balligan. Balligan's lacking sharpness. I don't know. I, I, I'd, I'd like to keep Ostergaard and Jan Paul van Heck on. But Enjimi's booked. We'll bring on Dominic Ball. And we'll give Dominic Ball an opportunity. Because the last thing we want is... To, I mean, Benjamin gets booked every single game. It's becoming beyond a joke here. He needs to just keep fucking the cards in his pocket. Well, it's not him dishing out the cards. It's the referee. But you get my point. He needs to stop getting them. Sooner or later, he's going to get sent off. He's going to get two of them in the same game. And then I'm, I'm going to fucking fire the, the uh, bottle of River Rock right at his head. Right at his dome. And that'll probably cause the whole dressing room to, to fall out of me. So we don't want that. All we want today is win games without getting booked in, without getting men sent off. Come on, it's not that difficult, especially against this lower level opposition. I don't know why we're getting booked against Queen's Park. I don't know why we have to make silly challenges against these teams, but Benjamin is continuing to do it. Uh, we've got 7 minutes, uh, 17, 13 minutes to go even. Mentality, we're just going to go down to balance now. I'm, I'm happy with the 3-0 win. I don't really feel the need for us to continue pushing here. Ball into the box. And that's 4-0. Aaron Presley. Lovely stuff. Makes it 4. Ball at the Devlin. Devlin, a load of space in front of him, he decides to shoot. I wish he was closed in because that shot certainly wasn't worthy of a maroon shirt. That was that was horrendous there, but we'll let it go. We're 4-0 up, I don't think there's any need to hit the panic button because a shot went into Rosehead. Three minutes of time added on here. Uh, Hearts now have won the game full time. Comfortable win in the end. Uh, Hearts 4, Queen's Park, Rangers, see, or just Queen's Park, it's not Queen's Park, Rangers, fuck me. Um, they're in England, where, where am I? Yeah, nice work everybody, good win, I'm happy with that, decent win, solid win, have no complaints. Uh, yeah, we're in the game to win, big opportunity, absolutely delighted, we were terrific, let's move on, let's forget about it. You can see now we're top of the table, we overtake Queen's Park, who have played all four games, uh, we're still in danger of not... We're not automatically through by any means. We need to take care of the last game. Falkirk could overtake us. If we lose and Falkirk win, then of course Falkirk would actually finish above us. So we need to t make sure that we take care of Air. But the way we're playing it, I think we'll have enough for Air. I think we will beat Air. So, um, yeah. I'm not really... I'm not too fast. I'm not too worried. Great performance. Let's praise Kingsley. We've got one goal and two assists. That's exactly what we want to see. So yeah, keep it going, Kingsley. And he he done a great job there. You know, filling in as captain. 
without Craig Halkett. So, uh, uh, yeah, absolutely delighted with that. 4-0 win against Queen's Park. Was, didn't expect it to be easy. And Queen's Park did put up a bit of a fight. But in the end, you know, we were far too strong for them. And it showed on the pitch and on the scoreline. So, uh, nice to see it. Brensmey reaches his yellow card limits. He needs to cut this shit out. I mean, I, yeah, I like to see a player with some aggression and fight and a player willing to get stuck in and give it his all. But at the same time, I mean, Benjamin is literally picking up a yellow card in nearly every single game. And sooner or later, that is going to come back to bite us. You know, it will. So we need to cut that out. We definitely need to cut that out. All right, here we go then. Final game of the Premier Sports Cup. We'll pick the team. Stone, Fagby, Halkett, Ostergaard, Van Heck, Perez, Devlin, Holland, Mackay, Janelli, and Presley up front. This must be one of the uh, youngest teams I think we've ever picked. I mean, just the combined age. It, it needs to be young. I mean, you've got Van Heck, 23, Ostergaard, 23, Stone, I think, is 20, Fagby is 19. Got Presley, 21. I think Holland's 20. It, it, it's such a fucking young team. Like, the oldest person by far in this team is Halkett. I think he's, what, 29 years old? So, yeah, no, I mean, this must be probably the youngest team I think we've ever fielded. And hopefully it doesn't come back to bite us. But we've done well so far in the Premier Sports Cup. So, just want to continue that here and pick up another win and see uh, ourselves safely through to the second round. So, let's do it. Let's go. It's all about momentum. Let's continue to carry on the way we're going. And uh, we, we should win this. And uh, we'll give us confidence heading into the first game of the season, which is the Edinburgh Derby. Keep in mind, this season for us is absolutely massive. The rebuild's on. We haven't exactly finished it yet. We um, don't... Well, no, we haven't really done much, to be honest. Presley, good shot there. Saved for McAdams. We, we all knew that Ostergaard and Van Heck were coming in. We made those deals in January. We did manage to bring in Fagby. But, uh, no, there's definitely room for more. Presley and Aaron Presley opens the scoring. Less than a minute in. Barry McKay's free kick. Presley meets it with his head. Lovely stuff. Hearts have a 1-0 lead. But before I was rudely interrupted, I was saying there's definitely more room for improvement. Um, I think we do need a goalkeeper. I mean, I like Harry Stone. He's done a great job so far. But... If he gets injured, then we are in deep trouble. You know, we are in big, big trouble. And even then, it's a lot of pressure on his shoulders for him to be the number one at 20 years of age. But here, I mean, if he's good enough, then why can't he be the number one? That's one way to look at it. So, possibly, he could be the number one. But I think going forward... Oh, brilliant. It's another goal. Aaron Presley makes it too. But, yeah, speaking of Aaron Presley, I, I, I do think he needs he needs help up front. Whether he's going to be the man to lead the line, I'm not too sure. But I think he needs backup. Because Liam Boyce just isn't really cutting it at the moment. But yeah, Presley's certainly cutting it like a knife through hot butter. He has got a brace here in the opening five minutes. So yeah, Presley's doing his job. Presley is uh, absolutely on fire. And uh, we have a 2-0 lead here against Ayr. And we could not have asked for a much better start if we're being completely honest. This puts us top of the group. Ayr really haven't got out the gates yet. They've been... Um, They've been absolutely smashed in the opening five minutes. And uh, it's, it's just about us seeing it the window. Barry Mackay crosses it in. Rui Perez backed into Barry Mackay. Mackay into the box. Plays it back to Halkett. It's Rui Perez. Out to Ostergaard. Ostergaard all the way back to Van Heck. Perez. Ginelli. Ginelli trying to spin around his defender. Back post. It's Nathan Holland. It's too easy. And it is Hearts free. Air now, and, and we're demolishing air here. Um, new personnel, new formation, and at the moment it seems to be working. You can definitely see the youth direction. I said I was going to go that way. I was going to try and give the younger players a chance, and that is that appears to be you know what's happening. And they're taking their chance at the moment. Definitely, Hodge whips one in. Hewitt heads over the bar. Air's first chance, and probably needed that to go in for them to have any hope of getting it back in this game. It didn't though, and we're still. Holding on. I say holding on. We're not holding on. We're absolutely demolishing them. It's hearts free. Air now. There's nothing holding on about this. Some of the other results, though, or some of the other score lines in the Premier Sports Cup. You've got Dundee and Ada also win by three goals to nil. Falkirk are beating East Colbride. That's another game that's in our group. Dundee are beating Elgin City by four goals to nil. Uh, Kilmarnock beating Dumbarton 2 0. Any other big score lines? I don't really see any, to be fair. I think that's pretty much it. 
Five minutes to go for half time. Is there any else? What, is it? what else is happening? I think that's it. Intercontinental friend. What friendly games are happening? Bunch of friendlies happening at the moment, but none of them really uh, piqued my interest. Here we go. Cornelius. Cornelius East. Halkett wins it. Why is Halkett so far up the pitch? I don't know, but he's won the ball. Great job. Barry McKay now. It's Barry McKay for distance. Straight into the hands of McAdams. A bit adventurous there for Barry McKay. Don't think that was going to work. Didn't work. Uh, but it's, it's half time. It's 3 0. I mean, I can't really begrudge him having a shot for distance. We've been, you know, we've been really good. So, um, yeah, now nah, just more of the same in the second half. We'll maybe give it 15 minutes, then we'll look to make some substitutions, look to get some more players on. Just try and give everybody a bit of game time. I might even bring on Sack Paris. Um, we'll, might, we might, oh, what a strike for Barry McKay. That's brilliant. What a free kick that is right into the back of the net. I don't want to get too excited, guys. We're playing in the Premier Sports Cup. We're beating teams that we're expected to beat, right? There's no doubt about that. But it's hard not to get excited because I think this team's looking really, really good. And I, I'll be honest, it's not the finished article. I think we definitely need to add a couple more signings. I think we need a striker. I, I genuinely believe we definitely need a striker. But, I mean, overall, I think this team's looking pretty good. And I am very, very optimistic about this upcoming uh, season and how well we can do. I, I think we should be aiming for third place. I, I genuinely believe that. Uh, obviously, we want to qualify for Europe, but I, I do think there's no reason why we can't be back up there mixing it with the likes of Aberdeen and Hibs. I think that's what we want to be doing, and that's what we need to be doing. And I'm hoping with the new signings that we've brought in this season, and we're not finished yet. We are not finished yet at all. Let's see. We're going to we'll bring on Dominic Ball for Cameron Devlin. Who else will we give? Uh, Presley is on for a hat trick. To take him off, to leave him on. Uh, we'll bring on Balligan, I think. Balligan for, let's see, Craig Halkett. And you know what? I am going to give Paris a chance. Yeah, we're going to give Paris a chance here. And uh, we'll take off Harry Stone. Let's just, give the, let's just give the kid 29 minutes and see what he can do. Hopefully it doesn't cost us a clean sheet, but... I, I like to give people opportunity. I like to give people a chance. If we're being completely honest, once the season starts, I can't imagine Sack Paris will be playing any games in the league. Once we get to the group stage, I doubt he'll be playing anything in the Premier Sports Cup. So this is probably his only chance, really, to get some game time. Maybe if we get an easy draw in the Scottish Cup, we'll, we'll give him some... That's if he's even here. We don't know. We're a long, long way away for that stuff. But he picks up the ball. Comfortable. Look at that. Safe hands. Looks like a quality player. Maybe he's better than Harry Stone. He rolls it to Ostergaard. Ostergaard back to Paris. Paris now to Balogun. Fagby. Take Balogun again. Balogun then finds Ostergaard. Ostergaard back to Balogun. It's ball. Barry McKay. Barry McKay out to Nathan Holland. Holland brings it down. It's Fagby now charging. Tries to play it into the path of Presley. Not good enough there. And here United will get away without conceding anything here. But here we go. Here you're coming back now. East. You know, East went West. What the fuck's this all about? Moorhead to Murdoch. It's through to Reading. It's going to be Reading. Oh, and it's a goal. And... and maybe that's what I get, guys, for bringing them on. Would, would, I, would, would Harry Stone have saved that? I don't know. Very disappointing, though, to lose the clean sheet. Let's see if we can shout here. Um, demand more. We have dropped off, I think, in the last 15 minutes. So let's see if we can change that but yeah nah may maybe I fucked up there bringing him on possibly it's another chance here <laughs> I don't believe it here we are corner and this time Paris does catch it good catch for Paris uh, uh, come on it's okay like conceding one goal is you know, alright but let's not concede anymore I would hate the guy to concede more goals here wouldn't look good on him it's Air now coming forward again Kirby Murdoch, Aitken, back to Moorhead, Moorhead, then to McAllister, McAllister to Hewitt, it's Hewitt, back to Aitken and Air here, just holding on to the ball, taking their time, back to Muirhead, Muirhead over the top, trying to find somebody, but Balogun's there, heads it to Semple, it's Semple into East, and I do not believe it, fucking you and East, I mean this is a joke, the game was dead and buried, and now Ayr back in it at 
and I, I have to take, I 100% have to take the blame here. I, it's no coincidence, guys, as soon as we uh, make the substitutions, we fall apart, is it? Don't tell me they're going to grab an R goal here. It's 4-2. Could you, could you imagine if we somehow drew this game? Like, could you fucking imagine the scenes? It's through to Redden. Good challenge there. I think it was for Paul Van Heck. We needed that. We got it. It denied air getting away back into this, and that should be it then. Uh, it's going to finish Hearts 4, air 2. Not happy. 4-0 up and then to concede two goals. Yeah, far from happy. Paris, though, averaged 6.8, so maybe he wasn't. Maybe I'm blaming him. Maybe he wasn't really at fault for both goals because 6.8 is a decent rating, but I mean, overall, still happy with the performance. We played well. Shame to concede two goals, but I mean, Barry McKay, 9.3. Aaron Presley, 9.1. Can't ask for much more than that. Those ratings were... You know, pretty phenomenal. So if they continue playing like that, I mean, they will be pivotal for our season. And uh, two players that I think will be trying to stake a place in the starting 11. But you can see that result then. Enough to take us through. We will be the group leaders. We'll top the group. And it should give us an easier draw in the second round. I think that's how it works. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I hope that's how it works. I'm not too sure, to be fair. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. Let's have a look then. Hibernian make Livermore offer, so that would be a decent signing, I think, for Hibernian. Yeah, goalkeeper make Paris make senior debut. Watched by his family. I mean, it was a nice day for him. It's a shame he had to concede two goals, but fair play. Uh, classy Mackay on form. Yeah, let's praise Barry Mackay. You were superb in front of goal last time. Uh, keep it up, mate. Uh, Inverness wants 700000 for Cameron Harper. Cameron Harper is a guy I was looking at. He looks like he's going to be a promising player. He's already been capped for the Under Scotland 21 team. Uh, his release fee is 700k though. I, I do think we need maybe another option at left back. It's cap but do we really want to waste 700k on Cameron Harper? I think he is a good player. But I don't know if we can justify the 700k. So I think we might just turn it down for now. Even though I think he is a good player and he is going to... Um, yeah, no, even the scout summary says it'd be a quality signing. And his potential, he's probably got potential to be better than Stephen Kingsley. So, I mean, yeah, no, there's no doubt about that. He would be a good player, but I just don't know if I'm willing to spend 700k on the guy just yet. I don't think he's going anywhere, so we'll maybe come back and revisit it at a later date. And maybe we'll be able to get him cheaper than 700k. His contract, though, doesn't run out to 2027, though. So he's got, like, four years on him. So... When you think about it, 700k actually sounds pretty cheap now when he's got four years left on his deal. I don't know. I don't think we need to get a left back right now. That's not my main focus. So maybe towards the end of the window, if I'm happy with all my signings and we've got 700k free, then I might go back and revisit that and try and bring him in, try and make an attempt to sign him. But for now, I think we're all right, guys. I think we'll we'll leave that for now and... I want to bring in a striker. That is my main focus, getting an attacker in and also trying to get a goalkeeper in. So uh, Morton, it looks like they want to take Jamie Brandon on loan. I would I would, nah, I would, personally rather just sell Jamie Brandon, if we're being honest. Uh, it looks like Joe Savage is trying to sign a few players. He's not having much success here. Birmingham have made an offer of 27k. 20, no, 22.5k, sorry, for Connor Smith. I don't know if that's a good bid, to be fair. I think Connor Smith is worth a bit more than that. Uh, is he someone that we could potentially loan out? Maybe. But we're going to reject that. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I don't think that's enough for me. Uh, Luka Radic is someone I was looking at, but we're no longer interested in Luka Radic, so let's move on. Swansea want Nathan Holland on loan. Interesting. I think he could play a, a big part for us this season. I'm going to say no to that. Uh, let's see the Morton. I put in a bid for Jamie Brandon. We would get 1k. Not bad. Um, I don't think we're going to accept that though. I would, I would rather just get rid of Jamie Brandon if we're being completely honest. I think we've already listed him. To be fair, I think he has been transfer listed. Yeah, he has been transfer listed, so we'll see. I mean, maybe someone will come in for him. Uh, Harry Gordon, there's not been an offer made. He's listed at 12k. We've been given 12.25k, so maybe Harry Gordon could go. 
I don't know if is Harry Gordon ever going to be good enough. Decent young prospect. I get that. Leaving on a free transfer. What the fuck? So he can yeah. You know what? We may accept this then, because if he's going to leave on a free, we may as well get a bit of money for the guy. So uh, yeah, let's do that. Uh, I'm sorry to report a number of players. More strength training. Okay. The Hearts have drawn St Mirren in the Premier Sports Cup. All right, so it's a it's an away tie. Have to go with Paisley. Uh, it's, it's that's tricky against the buddies. We could be in trouble, but we'll find out next time, guys. Uh, if we can defeat St Mirren, if we can advance any further in the Premier Sports Cup. But next time out, we will be kicking off the season. We will be taking on Hibernian. Hopefully, when we come back, there'll be a few new faces in the team. Fingers crossed. But we're going to have to wait and see, guys. That is it. Cinch Premiership season almost upon us, guys. I can smell it. It's nearly here. Can we get off to a good start? Can we beat our Edinburgh rivals? And can we put last year's disaster behind us in the league? I'm hoping so. You've got to tune in to the next episode to find out. I've been Son of Scotland. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.